Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Wheelie System video. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. You guys have given me the awesome idea of building something for a very, very special day. Um, basically, you know I do all of my anniversary type videos, so Mother's Day, um, Valentine's Day, Father's Day, all those crazy different builds. I even did a Pancake Day one. Um, you guys give me the opportunity and the idea to build a birthday one. I didn't even think of doing some of that because I thought it would be, you know, quite tricky to do and to make it quite universal to everyone, it would be quite hard to do. But since, you know, you guys asked for it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and experiment with different things and try and come up with a few ideas. In the end, I came up with this thing. This is a pixel art sort of cake. Um, most people like cake. If you don't, of course, don't worry, this thing does not, you know, you're not going to consume this, so there's no allergies or anything involved. You can build this for anybody of any age, and I'm sure they will like it. So we're going to be teaching you guys how to build this today. I hope you can stick around until the end. Um, it's going to be great. You can also switch out the colors of the candles to make them customized to you. Um, maybe put the favorite person's, the, the, the person's favorite sort of colors on the cake. And of course, it's a chocolate cake, but you don't have to make it chocolate if you don't want to. Yeah, it's going to be great. All right, let's get building. So all things considered, this thing does not take up that many materials. Um, you're going to need some stripped dark oak wood, some stripped birch wood, some stripped spruce wood, some white concrete, some light blue concrete. Of course, these are the colors of my candles, but you don't have to use blues if you don't want to, or whites. You can use any material you'd like. Orange concrete and yellow concrete for the flames, and some black concrete just to outline the candles flames as well. We're going to start with our dark oak wood, the stripped dark oak wood. I'm actually going to go ahead and mimic what I've done here over here just so it's a little bit easier for me to teach you guys. We're going to start from down in the bottom corner. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 blocks like so along the bottom. Those blocks are going to be facing, you know, vertically instead of horizontally because the woods, of course, like to go any which way they like, basically. It's a bit annoying. We're then going to go ahead and go straight on this block of uh, stripped dark oak with our stripped birch and all the way along the bottom until we reach one block away from the end on our right side again face it your wood vertically if possible um, as you can see I've done it kind of horizontally there and when you're up close the texture starts to come out and you're like "Ooh, the cake looks a little bit weird but no <laughs> when it's like this is all good we're trying to make it as ship shape as possible so starting from this block, we're going to start counting from here. So that's actually one already. We're also going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like so with our stripped dark oak wood. We're then going to go diagonally for just a block there. And then diagonally 2 for just 2 blocks there. Awesome. We're now going to go ahead and do another layer of our birch. Again, try and place these vertically if possible. It really is up to you how you want to do it and which materials you do use for your cake. Like I said, I'm building a average chocolate cake because I love chocolate cake too much. Um, you know, who doesn't, to be honest. Uh, so I've just gone ahead and built this very nice looking chocolate cake. It almost looks like a little bit of a chocolate pie as well. Ooh, dreaming of food now. Oh, not good. So two more stripped dark oaks up the side there. Then we're going to go diagonally out to the left and place another block just like so. Then we're going to go diagonally out to the left once more and we're going to go... One, two, three, four blocks up the side like so. Diagonally out to your left again for three blocks. Diagonally out to your left once more. Make sure you cut out the blocks that are connecting these, by the way, guys, because you want it to look three-dimensional as well. So another three blocks up the left side. Then backing ourselves diagonally for three. Backing ourselves diagonally to the right this time for two blocks. Backing yourself for one. Backing yourself for one to the right. Backing yourself for another to the right, so that's actually three blocks of one blocks in total. Up and diagonally to the right for about four blocks. Drop down diagonally and place just one, and then drop down diagonally and place two. This is where your candles will start to come in action. So for my candle materials, of course, white and light blue concrete are in order. So one light blue, uh, white concrete even, besides these two stripped oak wood, uh, stripped dark oak wood even. And then we're going to drop down, place one more concrete, another one, and another one, just like so. So your starting concrete and your top concrete before you reach the flame area are going to be the same color. So you want to alternate between them as much as possible. We're also going to do one more above the dark oak concrete, like so. 
Uh, for our first flame, we're going to place one black concrete, one orange concrete, one yellow, two black up the side of those two colours, two black up the other side of those colours, and then one block on top, like so. Drop back down, and on this kind of second block down, so almost diagonally from the concrete, the, uh, oh, sorry guys, to keep getting my words mixed up, from the wood over here, we're going to go ahead and start our wood again with a stripped dark oak wood. Drop down and place di uh, yeah, diagonally two to the right. Drop down and place one diagonally to the right again. And there's another candle in here. These candles are trying to be the same amount of blocks away. So about four blocks away in, the, in between, you know, all three of these, which is pretty cool. So there's another one here. Alternating between my materials once again. Stopping on the material that is going to come up just before the candle. Cool, and that goes up for about one, two, three, four, five blocks. One black concrete, one orange, and one yellow. Two blacks up each side, and then one black concrete on top. Once again, this one is actually in line with this other kind of dark oak we made over the other side. So one dark oak just there. Drop down diagonally, place two. Drop down diagonally, place one. And then you're back to your other candle, and also where this wood is going to connect to it as well. One light blue, one white one light blue, one white, one light blue, and then my candle once again. Black concrete, orange, yellow, two black up the left, uh, the right side, two black up the left, and one on top with your black concrete. We actually have the shape of our cake going now, which is great. That is one, what we want to see, basically. Taking our stripped birch wood, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five on the bottom left like this. So on top of these two rows we've already got. We're then going to take our stripped spruce and we're going to go one, two, then we're going to go out four on top of that two, up two on the right side, up one on the left side, leaving a block in between because we're going to fill that block with white concrete, and then two blocks up the top for that kawaii looking eye. Then going to leave four blocks in between the nose area as well, or the smile, whatever you want to say. So one, two, three, four blocks of your birch. Then our spruce once again, one just down there. One diagonally up on each side, like so. Taking our birch again, we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then for the other eye, one, two blocks of spruce on the bottom. One, two, three, four on the next row up. Two on the right side. One leaving a black uh, a block kind of gap away from the two. And putting it on the left side. One white concrete in there. Or black concrete if you wanted to make a pupil. That would look pretty cool. Um, and then two, obviously, spruce above that. Amazing. Then we're going to take our birch and fill this along. Then we're going to fill this along once more. And again. And then over, just to connect up to that eye. Fill this section in as well, up to that one layer. All the way along. Amazing. Let's fill it along for another layer. So over the eyes, over the nose all the way until we reach the other side of our cake and then we're going to do it once more and then we start to kind of change up the materials slightly just alternating between our spruce and our birch a little bit more for those sort of toppings okay so let's go for starting on this left side we're going to go two blocks then on this one we've already got two going up the side we're going to add a couple more blocks onto this one so two three four five six seven eight nine until you reach that top of that spruce one that dark oak one even fill this three in go to this block and place one two three go to the next block up and place one two three another three another three a another three two and then one block just like that that's almost like the crust of the where the sort of edge of the icing is maybe or something like that you know and then it's all like chocolate paste or whatever you have in your cake oh really i'm thinking about too much food now it's not good <laughs> this is the sort of build you do not want to like give to someone who may be going on a diet because it might just throw their diet a little bit out of balance they'll be dreaming about cake like i am don't maybe maybe that's a bad idea maybe make them like an apple kawaii or something that you know promote healthy food guys Okay, so one block over on the right side of our kind of birch. Going to leave three blocks and we're going to place two. Leaving three, place two, another three, place two, 
and another three, place two. And then three, and you should be onto that other two down this way of birch. Now the rest of the cake can just be filled in with your spruce. Now every single one of these blocks needs to have chocolate in it. So definitely make sure to get every single block filled up. I'm not going to show you me doing it because obviously it's going to get a little bit boring. But yeah, you guys know what to do. Any questions or if I do go too fast, please feel free to pause the video. Absolutely do so. Questions, definitely ask me down in the comments below. Alrighty, let's get doing it. And there we have it guys, one kawaii chocolate cake for a very special birthday. Thank you so much for watching this really awesome video, I really hope you've had fun building, I know I've had fun teaching you guys, it's been awesome. If you did enjoy, please definitely smash a like, that'd be awesome, definitely helps the channel out quite a bit, and it'd just be wicked. If you'd like to stick around for more of my builds coming very very soon, we have tons of Simpsons builds over to my left, um, a Father's Day sort of build on my right. Uh, loads of pixel arts around the world. Um, there's a mall over there in the kind of next to Homer Simpson. Oh, there's actually two Homer Simpsons. That's a bit creepy. But there's a mall over there. We're trying to build Star Court Mall from Stranger Things. If you want to stick around for that, that'd be awesome. Yeah, many more tutorials on the channel if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You have been legends. Take it easy. Take care. Definitely go and show this to whoever's birthday is coming up next. And yeah, wish them a happy birthday from me. Thank you once again, guys. You take it easy. Have an excellent day, and I'll see you at the next Wheel of Something video coming very, very soon. Goodbye for now.